Today we're announcing a $1 million donation from the James H. Cummings Foundation to establish the James H. Cummings Foundation Epilepsy Monitoring Center at the new John R. O'Shea Children's Hospital. This is the largest gift from this foundation that they've made, a $1 million gift to establish this unbelievable center. Thank you to the board of the foundation. Thank you for Chuck Kreiner, the staff, members of the board who have joined us here today, and to really celebrate with us this contribution on behalf of the children who will be served and the adults who will be served in this center. The James H. Cummings Foundation is a charitable not-for-profit corporation organized in New York State in July of 1962 for the purpose of complying with certain directions in the will of its founder and namesake. James H. Cummings was a resident of Buffalo, New York, where he owned and operated a pharmaceutical business, American Ferment Company. To make a gift of this significance, it's a big gift for us as a foundation, but it's also a gift that we feel is so important for this community. When we look at the dynamics of what the Buffalo Niagara Medical Campus is doing for Buffalo and Western New York, to have the Gates Vascular Institute, to have the new University of Buffalo School of Medicine that will be up soon, and to have this new children's hospital, we're very pleased and very proud to be part of this movement toward a greater use of the, of the community assets that we have. We thank you for allowing us to be part of your vision and your mission. Thank you all. On behalf of our patients affected by epilepsy and their teacher, caretakers, the Department of Neurology and the Women Children's Hospital of Buffalo would like to thank the James H. Cumming Foundation for their generosity in allowing this dream to become a reality. Thank you very much. Epilepsy is a neurological condition characterized by recurrent, unprovoked seizures. Epilepsy affects about 2.2 million people in the United States, while 45,000 children and adolescents are diagnosed with epilepsy each year. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. You can also find us on YouTube. For more information, please visit us at www.wchob.org.